And so the next thing, let's say, is something that Scotty likes. I'm going to let Scotty talk about it a little bit. Scotty is always trying to find hosted sessions. And, and that's the next thing. So Scotty's like, he's always out there looking for an open hosted session. So take advantage of those. Scotty, won't you tell us about hosted sessions? If in case there's anybody that's new to iRating that doesn't really know about them, um, what they are, um, how they can do it themselves, how they look for one, and, uh, and how you kind of use those to help you get ready for the week coming up. The good thing about it is you get to compare your laps to what everybody else is running. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Bring so I'll up. share my screen. Yeah. You go this to, is... go to hosted right there. No, it's on the right. Go racing on the left. You on the right. Go... Over oh. here. The blue button. Okay. So yeah. on the whole, so, okay. So there two places go. on the home page, on the home page on the right here, it says hosted, but you can also go to go racing. Right. And it's on the left right here under hosted. Correct. So it's, it brings up the same screen. So we'll do, we'll do it the other way. You're on the home screen. You hit hosted. It brings up that screen. Or you, and that takes you to the Go Racing hosted area. So here we are. We're in here. And this is all the hosted sessions. Now, how do these hosted sessions, Scotty, come about? Um, like what makes one appear here? Well, you, you, you go up to create a race up there at the top. If you want to create a hosted session, then you, you uh, go through a bunch of steps and it tells you, you pay for, I think it's 50 cents for an hour, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. 50 cents for an and, hour. Uh, so you can set up a four hour session for little to nothing and get a lot of practice in. And you also get to uh, benefit from seeing what other drivers are, are running time wise. So that gives you a good comparison. Uh, how well is my setup compared to what the other drivers are running? You can also compare uh, if you go to setup shops like I'm with Pay to Win. Uh, I can compare my setup to their setup to see how which one I can drive faster. And I don't necessarily. I I want to I want the setup that I use to be the one that I drive the fastest. So I'll run several different setups that I have downloaded or that I've created either one and find out which one's running the fastest. Then I'll work and fine tune that one. And I usually do that in a hosted session because you, you can, uh, like I say, take advantage of seeing what everybody else is running. And that'll give you a good comparison of what you're going to do in a race. Yeah. And so as we're looking down through here, it lists them all. Now you can search. So if we just want to search for Charlotte for say, you can search for anything, but there's got a search bar up here and you just type Charlotte. And then all the Charlottes come up, and it's only Charlotte now. And then uh, you're going to look at a few things. Like here's one that says a Ryko Coke test, and it says uh, Ken Byron is the one who created it. He's the owner of Ryko, but it's locked. There's a little lock pad up here. It's password protected. So in order to get into that session, you have to have the password that Ken set up as password. So that's a private hosted session. And then you get into the ones that So, Ken, if you're watching, we're waiting for the password. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they're in their yeah testing coat stuff, and so their coat setup. So anyway, then then you have uh, then there's the ones with the green check boxes on them. The eligible license means that, you know you can set license requirements if you want to set to where somebody has to have at least a C license or a B license or an A license to get into your session. You can. Um, you can so also anyway. make it a race instead of just a practice if you want to. Uh, yeah, set it and up it, to where you have thirty minutes of practice and five minutes of qualifying and then say two hours of racing, or you could take that and say 60 laps. Yeah. And you could, well, you could also put, um, put an I rating, uh, threshold where somebody's got to have at least a certain level right. of I rating. You can, you can do all kinds of stuff when you create them, but if you can go, all you gotta do is go through a look and right here you see, you know, well, it says six cars can enter this. So let's see what they are. Um, hit the drop down. And it is your NASCAR. So it's the 87 cars and cup cars and street stocks they're allowing because you can set it just about any kind of car you want to allow on the track. Um, there's another one that has six cars. Um, well, I bet that'd then, be a fun practice with all them cars on the track. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. And so, and so right now, and then here, here's one that says it's closed. So right now, there's really nothing if you're looking for trucks or be open or you know, Xfinity or trucks, there's nothing available for a hosted session. So if you wanted to create one where you wanted to practice, let me go ahead and I want to run you through something else, the easiest way to create one. Of these I run sessions. through the steps there, Mike. 
yeah, the easiest way to create one of these sessions or a test session, and that is don't use the hosted session session area. I'm telling you not to do it. The easiest way to do it is to simply click, go to Go Racing and go to Current Series on the left here. And, it, and this is how you typically register for races in a UI. And this functionality is really cool, and it is not available on the website, the web, the, the web UI. Um, you have to use the iRacing UI that every the, the, the people have been on iRacing forever hate. Um, they'll tell you they hate this, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, but honest to goodness, I mean, this is the absolute best way uh, to to do it. Um, and it's so you really, say <laughs> it is, Robert. We'll see. Yeah, so, I, I have to agree because it gives it sets it up for you all the weather and stuff that's going to be during the race that week. Yes, yeah, so, so it sets all that up for you. You don't have to guess, right? So, so, so in the past, uh, before this feature was available here about a year ago, um, you had to go into hosted session. You had to go into iRacing somewhere, go look at the schedule, go write down or take a screenshot, or or just load it up on a, on a page and set it off on a second monitor somewhere to to look at or flip back and forth between windows. However, you did it. Um, and you had to go look at all the race conditions uh, and all the weather and everything uh, that was going to be for that day, um, track conditions, everything. And it usually had a range, like it would say, you know, between these range of temperatures and stuff. And you had to go manually look this stuff up and put it in there. Well, not anymore if you're using the web or the, not the web UI, the iRacing UI. Uh, so what you do is you find your series. We'll do B open here. You click on it. And then up across the top, they got some tabs. You go to schedule. And then once you get into schedule, uh, you just scroll down until you find the week you're wanting to go to. So currently, it has a little green checkbox by all the weeks that are already, you know, that are already over. Um, and then so, you, so we'll be on, we're on week 14 now. Uh, it's got May 17th as a start date. It says current week when you hover over it. Okay, so, so then you simply go to the next week. It's got Charlotte right here, Charlotte Oval. Uh, drive now. There's a drop-down box. You hit it. You can do one of two things. You can go create a hosted session if you want, or you can open up a private test session yeah. just for you. The I private, use the test session feature a lot um, yeah, it's before free. I go and do a hosted session. Right. The test session is free. Uh, but you're the only person who can get in it. So four or five of your buddies want to get into the session at one time. Um, you can't do yeah, that. You have with to have test. hosted for that. You have to have hosted. But if it's just you, um, it's free, it's cheap, and it's easy to set up. Okay. Let's do that first. So we click on test drive, and you brings you up, and it says generate weather. Leave that on. iRacing will use the same logic and the same programming algorithm to 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 come up with the weather. Uh, that it uses during the race, okay? Um, and it's going to be a range of like 5 to 10 degrees or, or whatever, or 10 to 15, whatever the range is. But whatever the algorithm is, it's going to populate it based on what the race conditions will be like during that week of racing and eye racing. I always turn off dynamic sky because that's where the cloud cover comes up. I just don't want to mess with cloud com cover coming up on while I'm testing. I think it's not very realistic in eye racing the way they do cloud cover. It gets to where you can't see anything. That's just not realistic. So I turn dynamic sky off. I put auto generate weather on. Then I go to the next car. And they ask you what cars you want to allow on the track. Well, for a test section, it's only your car. Here's something I usually do. It says disable car damage. I usually turn that on so that there is no car damage. That way, if I'm on like a 40-lap run in a lap 26, I smack the wall an accident and damage the car. Well, that only messes up that lap, but I can just go right back to running and, and don't waste my time. Uh, but if you leave car damage on, you can be halfway through a 40-lap run or something. If you're trying to do a full fuel run at Charlotte. Uh, and do like 45 laps or something, be halfway through it and mess your car up and you've just wasted all that time and your time is valuable. So um, I always turn car damage, I always disable car damage uh, so that I can just keep on going and just you know count that lap out and my car is just fine. Uh, so the only thing I would tell you about this though is don't use this feature if you're trying to figure out how much tape to run because if you disable car damage, your engine will never blow. And you'll think, oh, man, I can get away with this much tape. And then you go out in the race and you Didn't blow Didn't I car racing up. do that one time in a, in a regular series race and we could run almost all the tape we wanted to? The car wasn't going to blow up? I don't remember that, Robert. I mean, it might have been before my time. No, it was just a few weeks or months ago. Oh, I don't remember. Maybe. 
But anyway, so we go down the next to track where in the next thing down here, it takes us to track. Where it's we're Lake. not in that loop like you are. Yeah. Oh, well, Junior told me about it. So I'm, well, number yeah. one team driver. I get it. Yeah, you're important, Robert. So we get it. So, so that's the track. It's already loaded up for you. Track conditions. Um, I, I, I don't want I don't want the marbles left on the track. Uh, and then where it says generate track state, let's turn that off. And we're just going to go to 50%. That's about, you know, about 50% usage on the track. Um, I think that's a fair place to start. Next time of day, it should already be populated with exactly when the race is going to start. Um, and there you go. Um, it's got the time, the date, and, and, and everything in there. And then you just hit continue, and it will load you right into a test session. Um, if you want to get perfect, um, you just load up once right down to weather. And if you want to get a perfect weather, like uh, to build your set off of, like try to, you can split the range and, and, and you can see like what we've done before is to load up four five, six times and right down to weather every time and then average it out and find what an average weather is. And you can go back to the very, very first, uh, the very, very first, uh, button here and you can manually generate the weather and actually manually set the track temperature here that you want it to be um, instead of letting it auto generate. And if you really want to get specific about your setup and build one for the, you know, the medium or the, the average temperature, that's what you could do uh, is, as I said, load up four five, six times in a row, write down the temperature each time, get an average and go manually put that in as well. But I typically generate and then that, yeah, there you go. Now, if you want to create a hostess session, it's the same thing. And I'm not going to walk all the way through that. You just go here to the schedule um everything's the same pretty much um except it's going to ask you to pay for it at the end um you just put a title in here for your session you can name it anything uh podcast test you know and you can put a here's where you can put a password if you want to make it private but, but if you don't want to make it private you want it to be public uh leave the password open down at the bottom it's got where you check out and then you just go through all the details ask you which server you want to use you can use different servers around the world we're going to, we're going to stick with the US server it's in Boston uh launch race now that means as soon as you as soon as you uh click launch it'll Yeah appear. if you uncheck that you can actually set a time that you want it to launch too Yeah you can launch it you know, like 20 later minutes in the from day. Now. yeah half hour from now 20 minutes from now whatever we all I would just do launch now. You go to admins and you can pick different admins. Let's say I want to. Yeah, know, I usually Scott. put all of our friends up there on the admin list that way. Yes, yeah, Scott Stevens, number three. That's Scotty. Uh, I'll ask there. And there's I found Scotty. Select Scotty. Robert Cook. There he is. So anyway, you add as many people as you want. They're admins. They have admin rights just like you do to be able to, to kick Boy, there's a lot of, of Robert Cooks out there. There is, Robert. Yeah. I've... You could just click on friends button there and select your friends. You can do that. Yeah. And you can just go down through and select select any of your friends you want to make admins. So once you make your admins, uh, then you can go to uh, any, uh, it's some race options. It says create a race. Um, typically, I don't do races, but you can. Um, by default here, when you're, when you go through the schedule, like I'm showing you, um, it has uh, open practice only is the, is the default. That means it's just, there's no qualifying, no race, it's just a full practice session. Um, and then you can, you know, make it however you want, you want one hour, <coughs> one hour, two hours, four hours, you know, whatever. Again, it's 50 cents an hour. Um, and then, and then it, you could also make it a race too. You could do, um, uh, practice qualifying uh here's practice open qualifier and race and then you could do practice for you know 10 minutes qualify for uh, five minutes and then have yourself a race you know do like a one hour race or something or you can do it laps. You can do how many laps you want to race. If you want to create a hosted race, um, you can do 90, 90 lap race. But I typically do open practice only as we're just wanting to practice. So we do that, say four hours. Um, next weather. This is going to look very similar to the one where we just did, created the test session. We'll have it generate weather, turn dynamic sky off. 
And here's the cars. This time it loads up all three cars for B open. Um, you could add more if you wanted. You could add trucks. You could add whatever you want to let people in. Typically, I just keep it one class of vehicle, in this case, Xfinity. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and as you keep going through track, obviously that's Charlotte. Um, and then here, this is important, max driver count. How many maximum drivers you want to allow in your session? Um, and, it, and it lets you know if you put too many in. Once you get to 44, it says one pit will be shared. So then you get into shared pits. So I'll put 43 is how many can register. And once you've hit that limit, nobody else can register for your session unless you start kicking people out. Uh, and if you scroll down through here somewhere, you'll find that damage, turn, turn off damage thing as well. Um, default pace car, fast repairs, no limit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, we're not doing a race. We want to talk about the lucky dogs or nothing like that. I'm just looking for that whole disabled damage thing I'm looking for, but I can't, I can't find uh, it. Keep going. I race think. options, uh, incident limits. I usually get rid of these and just make them unlimited for the practice. Um, there are no yep. limit. Yeah, no limit. Yeah, there you go. There's your car damage right there. Yeah, no limit on the incidents. Uh, Straight down. Incident warnings. Who cares? I ain't gonna warn anybody. Um, maybe disabled I'm car away. damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Disabled car damage is right here, and that's pretty much the main things I grab there. Um, uh, restrict re restrict results to event participants. So you got to log in in order to see the results. That's good. So if somebody can't just go looking at lap times and not even come into the session, um, and then there you go, and then uh. We're going to um, go to the AI opponents. This is something Robert likes. We'll touch on this here in a second. But if you wanted to race AIs, um, you can generate a roster and you can turn this into an AI race. But we're not doing a race. We're doing practice. Uh, so this isn't really relative or relevant here. Um, we're not going to do AIs. Uh, so we'll get back. Yeah, AI opponents. They cheat. And then, uh, and then there you go. We'll go back to the whole, <laughs> we, 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 yeah, we're back to the whole marbles in the track. We want to leave the marbles off the track. And we want to take the track state to 50%. You don't like the marbles? Why don't you like marbles? Yeah. And then all you got to do is just got to get on and hit recharge account or, or if you got money in already, you just got to pay. And as soon as you do your race, your hosted session will be up and anybody can join. So that's kind of how we, you do hosted sessions. Um, that's the easiest way to do them is right there through the schedule and whatever series it is. Uh, that's something we take advantage of a lot here uh, at Area 51. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this short clip from our Alien Factory podcast. Be sure to check us out every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time here on our YouTube channel. That is youtube.com backslash Area 51 Alien Factory. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet. We really appreciate your subscription to the channel. Also, if you really want to help the channel out, the best thing you can do is share this video anywhere you can on Facebook, on Twitter, Discord, anywhere that you can share the video. We'd appreciate it. That's really going to help our channel out. Also, get down to the bottom and you can check out the description below. There's some promo codes and affiliate links down there and different things down in the description. So don't forget to get on and check that out. And if you would like to get notified anytime that we go live with either our podcasts, live streaming races, or when we upload any of our great on-demand content series here on the channel, just hit that bell icon down below and you will get notified anytime that new content comes up on the channel. We appreciate you sticking with us to this video. And as always, we will see you in the next one.